Hey guys, it is Tuesday, October 19th, and I just wanted to say right off the bat that I'm releasing the sketchbooks on Monday, October 25th at 12 p.m. PDT, because yeah, they're, they're here, and I wanna start selling them as soon as possible, so that's the date. <laughs> this vlog is gonna be a bit of a weird one. If you're just here for the diamond painting, you can skip ahead, but yeah, most of the vlog will be diamond painting. <laughs> Usually Tuesday is my last day of the week to film for the vlog, and here we are, it's the last day. Cause I was out of town, I was visiting family. I can talk more about that later, but we were supposed to be home yesterday, but our flight got delayed. So we missed our connection and ended up having to stay the night in Calgary. Although it's like 9.40 in the morning right now and we're home. So like, it's really not so bad cause we would have gotten home late last night anyway. But there's still time for me to do my usual stuff. Cause originally the plan was package the orders I got while I was gone then do a chit chats run and then do my usual live stream today because I missed Friday's stream since I wasn't here. So I don't want to miss today's as well. <laughs> and I think we might still have time for everything. Just got some of the cat stuff in order. I'll unpack my bags later if I have time. Just want to get those orders packaged just to make sure everything's good to go. I don't know how many there are, so. <laughs> Oh my God, there are 41. <sighs> okay, I just had to get some orders imported into Chit Chats and there were major problems. Certain countries I can no longer ship to using Ascendia. I can only do Chit Chats International Tract, which is fine because that's what I used to use. The problem is the postage rates might be off now because postage doesn't get calculated at checkout for when I use Chit Chats. So I have to manually figure out the rates every year and I have a spreadsheet where I keep track of them all then I update it in Shopify. And initially I just had three weight classes for each country, but then because of the sketchbooks, I now have eight to 10 weight classes. So I have to go in and do dummy orders for every country, well not every single country, but most countries, and then do like eight dummy transactions but not go through with it just to know what the rate is. Just changing up the weight every time. And I did that earlier in the year so I'd be prepared for the sketchbook release. But now everything's changed. So I'm gonna have to go check my spreadsheet out and... And then I ran into an issue where I could not import an, an order to New Zealand, which is this one. <laughs> and I was like, what's going on? At first I thought I just had to select the other shipping method, but no, when I input the details, there's no selectable shipping option for New Zealand. So now I have to do the label through Canada Post. Oh my God. This better not be a billion dollars. The thing is though, like if you want tracking through Canada Post, it is a billion dollars. <laughs> Wait, this one's actually not, I mean, it's th it's still $28. That's a lot, but usually it's like $65 for international tracking, like flat rate. Maybe it's just because it's a really light package. What? Selected Canada Post service is currently not available for the destination country. Dude, what's going on with New Zealand? No, <laughs> no. I'm not gonna be ready in time. I'm not gonna be able to package all these. Ah, I'm gonna could delay my stream a bit or something. Yep, there it is. Australia, New Zealand suspended. Although on the Chit Chats website, it says only New Zealand is suspended, but there are delays with Australia. Okay, I'm done dealing with that. That took a while because <laughs> I was just like researching my options. This is for Nadia. Five, yes. spider right above my boxes right now. <laughs> Every time I reach for a box, he's all I see. I've got that crank off to the side, kind of behind me since you're sitting where it usually goes. <laughs> Oh 
but one quick look at these babies. Oh, I missed you, babies. Now come over here and eat this spider, please. Nasty. Just doing a bit of censoring with these envelopes, but I've got my box of orders all done. The stream is scheduled to start in four minutes, so it's gonna have to be late. <laughs> I'm gonna change my shirt before I go. This one was previously worn because I did not pack an extra shirt. Luckily I had extra undies and socks. But yeah, I wore this a couple days ago, so I need to change out of it. Every time I reached for something on the product shelf, I was like, it's not that stinky, it just really smells like deodorant, you know? Old deodorant. Okay, that's better. Plus it smells like cigarette smoke because my dad smokes. Change my pants too. Anyway, I gotta run. I feel like I've explained nothing, but I'll, I'll, you know, I need some stuff to talk about while I do the diamond painting segment, so I'm trying to talk too much about the trip yet. Not that it's that exciting for you, but. I have myself a little snack because we got food vouchers at the airport since they made us stay overnight. So when I got breakfast this morning, I got extra stuff. They gave us each $30 in food vouchers. Combined, we didn't even use up one of them. <laughs> this is the name of my company. This is what my company does. This is why I love what I do. This is an accomplishment I'm proud of. This is where you can find me online. And if you're a small business There's owner, panties. introduce yourself in the comments. Small business owner, Chad. All the little this subtle photoshops. This is the name of my company. Pyramid scheme. This is what my company does. Edgar's this art. is why I love what I do. Money. This is an accomplishment I'm proud of. This panties. is where you can find me online. And if you're a small business owner, introduce Only yourself fans. in the comments. I don't Small business. stroke a paintbrush. Oh my god. Ah! 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 Wait, we're in the finale? I sorry I had to watch that at like a couple times. What's my camera doing? Maybe I can catch up. I'm stuck! Where are they? Am I the only one here? Huh? Someone got it, they're over there. I kind of did catch up, but like not to the first place person. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Never give up! Never give up! <laughs> Finally, a frickin' win. I mean, yeah, I was doing extreme mode earlier, but it's still sad. <sighs> Double crown, look at that, I got a purple one. Her <laughs> first win today, yeah. First win in four hours. With this cardigan here, Kiki likes to lay up on the printer, but it's great for having a little Kiki cam during the live stream. <laughs> I ended it about an hour and 10 minutes early because I'm just kind of getting sleepy. The sleepiness is hitting me. Only got like four hours of sleep. So, yeah. Alrighty, it's the next morning. Yesterday I went and got some groceries because I realized I really needed to do that. So. <laughs> That's done. Um, so far today, it's just been a bunch of running around. Like last night I planned out the rest of my week, but I just keep thinking of new things I need to do or like, oh yeah, I got to message that person or oh, I'm going to get to this email right now. And I don't know, I'm, been, yeah. <laughs> I'm finally sitting down and I realized I forgot to do one thing, which was reorder my prints. <laughs> Cause I want to, I at least need to reorder, hey guys, I have to check the rest. And I'm like, you know, I'll just do that after. I'll diamond paint for a while and I'll do the print thing after. I can't figure out a good face cam setup. I've got it perched up there, but it's refusing to focus this far away. So it's just like me looking all blurry while my other camera and my microphone look crisp. <laughs> but I'm just ready to get started. I'm just not gonna do face cam because I just wanna get started. I even chose this top because I thought it would look cute for the diamond painting segment. Although I didn't do my hair, but you know, you know, maybe that was for the best because now I'm not even really showing my face, <laughs> except right now. 
Alrighty, let's get started. One thing I cannot find is the power cable for my second camera, for the side view camera. So I'm gonna start out top view and then steal the power cable from the other camera to plug in the side view one. <laughs> Cause ever since I moved the, the workspace from downstairs to up here, it's just been lost. I just looked for it again just now and I can't find it. So I like having these jars for storing the drills, but I don't have enough jars to have every single color. Plus it takes up a lot of space. So once I'm done a diamond painting, I transfer the drills into little Ziploc bags with their little logo thingy on it, the, the label saying what it is. So I have a bunch here that I need to transfer into little Ziploc bags. There are a bunch that were included with the diamond painting. So that's gonna be step number one. And then step number two will be putting the new labels, which are right here. They're all individually cut and peel up. Look at that, hoo hoo hoo. I'm gonna stick those on the jars. I might cut them a little further. The label includes this number here. I'm probably gonna cut that bit off because otherwise it's not gonna fit on my lids. So yeah, step one's a bunch of organizing and then we can get started. I'm gonna be working on the meeting, as you can see. And we have a real life black cat who suddenly appeared. Hello, Kiki. It's actually funny because at my dad's farm, there are currently three black cats there. <laughs> so, ah. Don't peel up my gels, please. Maybe I want to use the tweezers. <laughs> Stick that on there. There's one, one free jar. Oh, they come off the lid nicely, but not off the front. No, they're gonna get all gross. You know, instead of scanning these and printing off a second copy, I'm just going to use the pink number on the bottom and then use the regular label on top. And there's a kitty on my back. Ma'am, get off. Get down, kitty, get down. <laughs> Kiki. Thank you. Technically there's also spare ones, so you could just like write your own if you wanted to, like a spare blank ones. But I think this will be fine. I can just take this, put it on top. Actually, wait, maybe the whole sticker would fit. Yeah, well, it's a little close. But yeah, then I just stick this underneath. Let's put it where there's a sticky gooey spot maybe. <laughs> But we're not doing that yet. I just kind of wanted to test that out. <laughs> I'm going to keep on putting all the drills in these little bags and clear out these containers. I'm just debating whether or not I should empty these as I go. Like just open up the color I need and keep going. That's I think typically how I do it. I usually start top right corner since I'm left-handed. There's quite a few colors I'm gonna need there. M, L, N, H, 9, G. There's so many. Maybe I should just do it all now. The thing is I can't fit all of the color in one jar. So they end up sitting in here. Do I have any like that? I tape off the ends and they just sit in here. I'm so disorganized. <laughs> I did bring up some sleeves though. The trading card sleeves, although I don't know how I wanna organize these. Oh, and I found this one which has two different colors in it. So I do remember mixing those up at one point, but I guess I just never separated them out. Yeah, I probably would just sort these based on diamond painting. And it's easy to tell which is from which because one of these has square drills, one is round. Plus all the ones from one diamond painting have this type of label, then the others have the handmade one. I don't know if I have enough sleeves to do just one per sleeve though. <laughs> like, am I gonna shove multiples in there? Well, hmm. hmm. Cause honestly, I could just take all these small Ziploc bags and throw them into a big Ziploc bag and that would probably also work. Cause where am I gonna put these sleeves? I don't have a binder for this. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna set these aside for now. 
Oh yeah, I wanted to show you guys a couple of things I got, which I should probably do now before I switch to side view. I got a new water bottle at Superstore. <laughs> I saw it one time, almost got it, but left it. And the next time I went back and saw it again, I was like, yeah, I do want it. This would not be for any kind of travel because it would probably smash. <laughs> but I don't know, it's cute. Cute for around the house. Also in Regina, I got this at Indigo. <laughs> it's a tree ornament of a little deer. It's so cute. Look at that. It's all fuzzy. <laughs> and in Gravelberg at a secondhand store, I got this because the frame caught my eye, but I actually quite like the painting inside of it too. I don't know if I would switch it out or not. I guess for now I'll leave it in there, but it's an original painting. You can see the canvas and the, the brush strokes and everything. So yeah, it was three bucks. So I was like, yeah, okay. Yeah, that was kind of off topic, but. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I can start filling these. <sighs> Let's do L, M, N. Elemental P. I'm just gonna grab one. There's a second one here, but I don't know if that'll fit in my jar. There's 905. They're so tiny. I should not be doing this on the actual canvas. I can't see anything. <laughs> Feel for the gems. Maybe I do want to do all of them. No, oh, I keep flip-flopping. I'm like, just get started on the diamond painting. You're running out of time. <laughs> but the organization's so fun. I'm doing a few more because I cannot stop myself. But look at these, these number twos, which is the 134. There's four huge bags of them and they're all the AB gems, the shiny ones. <gasps> look at that look at that sparkle oh my god there's so many of them there are four and they're full the other shiny one has one bag some yellow ones right there but look at all this <laughs> it's gonna be shiny I'm just trying to do enough that if I did a small square in the upper corner, I would have all the colors I need. Because even though I don't think I'll get very far today, there's just a lot of different colors in that section. I'm thinking maybe I should empty one of each into these jars because then I could probably fit the remaining gems right here. This is one of my sketchbook boxes, kind of like a medium depth one. It fits these jars perfectly, <laughs> but I don't have room for all the drills. So if I empty out the rest into here, maybe they'll all fit. Okay, I'm finally all set up here now. <laughs> I'm really not gonna get far now. Ugh. Usually I start pretty small and then as I go, I start cutting off bigger and bigger sections. Oh yeah, I like to tape it off first. Makes it so much simpler for cutting because it's clear plastic. I can't see where I'm cutting, you know? <laughs> we'll stop right where these circles stop maybe. Right there, okay. It's a little on the smaller side, but it's okay. I'm now I'm gonna cut along the tape to reveal this area. I'm scared to push too hard and cut the canvas. Oops, I'm spilling already. It's been a while, okay? <laughs> Ta-da! 
probably have a different wax I can use that I've already started, but I'm just going to open up a new one. Just lay the plastic down a little bit. So I'm going to start with the far corner here. All right, let's go. I guess I can start talking about my trip. I didn't film anything because it was just visiting family mainly. And we were also there for a wedding because about a month ago I went to visit family in Alberta because my mom and stepdad live there and Christian's side of the family lives there too. So we were visiting parents there and then this trip was to Saskatchewan to see my dad and brother and also go to a wedding. It was one of my cousin's weddings and just got to see a bunch of people I haven't seen in so long or like... I haven't had a proper hangout in so long. It was great. <laughs> it was also kind of like a family reunion, or not a family reunion, but a class reunion for my brother's class because the groom was um, from his grade. So lots of people there. And of course, there were the farm kitties. There's little black kitties there. <laughs> we have Mama Kitty, who's really old. And, well, she's my dad says she's at least 12. We don't know exactly how old she is. Can't really remember because no one's been keeping track. <laughs> and then there's a male tomcat whose name is Wah Wah because he, he just meows a lot, so my dad calls him Wah Wah. His meows are kind of weird. They're, they're a little bit similar to Midna's. Like we always say Midna quacks, but yeah, little kitties. And then there's some young thing who is one of my uncle's cats because my uncle's farm is just right up the road. Like you could walk there in probably 60 seconds between houses. They're that close, but yeah, she always comes down to my dad's place, and she's kind of the alpha, like, spooks away mama kitty, and I'm like, what the heck? You know, she's still got that, like, teenager kitty look to her, but she's ruling the roost. So those were the three black kitties, and, uh, it's just funny, because this diamond painting's three black kitties, too. <laughs> but yeah, it was good, just a lot of catching up. Like, I haven't seen my dad since November of 2020 at my brother's wedding and that's actually the last time I saw him too and my sister-in-law so <laughs> ah, it's been so long been nearly a year since I've seen them so yeah and, and almost two years since I've been in Gravelberg so yeah good to get back and visit and I actually got quite a bit of artwork done I was working on the well I keep calling them charms because they're basically acrylic charms but they're gonna have a different end to them to make Christmas ornaments and I, I have also been considering possibly making half of them wooden and half of them the acrylic ones. We'll see. So I'll show you that artwork at the end there. I was going to hold it up to the camera, but I'm so zoomed in that you would not really see the iPad screen. So I'll just vlog it <laughs> after the diamond painting stuff. I still have two left to do. One I started sketching and the other one's not touched at all yet, but good progress. Because at the farm, you know, I can't just be browsing on my phone all the time when I have some downtime because there's no Wi-Fi at my dad's place and the cell reception's almost non-existent. <laughs> I have to be in specific spots in the house and even then I only maybe have cell reception. So I, yeah, not even my emails would load until the final day they suddenly all came through and I was like, oop, I was getting emails this whole time. <laughs> so, well, you know, it was a good like internet detox though. It's nice. move on to the letter K or hmm. let's do F I think it's nice when you get a few gems down so your tray doesn't stick to the canvas I don't have to lay the plastic over it anymore <laughs> oh my some of these rows are so beautiful but yes my trip was mostly uneventful good I guess relaxing I'm just happy to see everyone probably the most drama came from the trip back because we were flying from Regina back to Vancouver but there weren't any direct flights 
So we had a layover in Calgary, but it wasn't too long of a layover. It was like a one-hour layover. So we thought, okay, that's fine. We'll do that. Usually I'm willing to pay a little extra to not have a layover, but there literally were none. Plus these flights were $78 each way, which is unheard of. Every other time slot was high 300s to mid 400s. I'm like, huh, do I want this $450 ticket or do I want this $78 ticket? And flying out was also $78, but it wasn't even that early. It was like a 9 a.m. flight. We're so used to doing like 6, 7 a.m. Like, what a bargain. But when you have a layover, there's always a chance your first flight gets delayed and you end up missing your connection. And that's exactly what happened. <laughs> it was an 8.50 flight, so nearly 9 p.m. And it's the Regina Airport, which is already small to begin with. So it was just empty in there, just absolutely dead. We were one of the first people to get there because... We'd gotten there a little earlier than we needed to. At first, the flight was delayed something smaller, like 20 minutes or something. Something that didn't really matter. And so we're just chilling. Finally have Wi-Fi, even though it's just airport Wi-Fi. It was still, like, amazing <laughs> compared to having nothing. We're like, woo we can check stuff. Like, I should have been working on my drawing some more. And I was like, yes, Reddit, let's go. There was this lady who did not have earbuds and... She's watching loud videos, and then at one point, all I hear is... And I'm like, huh? And it just keeps repeating, and I'm like, this is really creepy in this abandoned-ass airport. <laughs> and you know what? It was an omen. It was an omen! Because then the flight was delayed again, but this time until 10 o'clock. So that's not, you know, not the hugest delay. It's an hour and 10 minute delay, but because our layover was only an hour, it was actually a 55 minute layover, we were going to miss our flight and we weren't the only ones because most people on that flight also had connections to elsewhere. There were other people also going to Vancouver. There were people going to Fort McMurray, Edmonton. Some people had to fly west to Calgary in order to fly east to Toronto. Like, what is that? <laughs> Layovers can be weird, but anyway, once that second delay happened, passengers started freaking out and like talking to each other and this one young lady was just really freaking out and so worried and she decided to go down to talk to a WestJet agent there was someone else who was trying to phone WestJet but people are being told different things and then finally there was a gate agent that showed up and so people were talking to her and it was just like everyone's kind of disgruntled and some of us were just kind of like you know disappointed but laughing it off sort of thing and I don't know. It was interesting. <laughs> there were four of us, like Christian, me, and then two other people who were not flying together. It was just two individuals. We we uh, decided it was the Hunger Games. <laughs> One of them corrected, no, Squid Games. Did you hear that sound earlier? That was freaking me out. And I was like, yes. <laughs> but yeah, we decided that uh, we were an alliance. We were forming an alliance. So <laughs> we would stick together and like find solutions together and stuff. It was funny. There were times where we thought, like, we had a little bit of hope, like, oh, maybe this could work out, or, like, we're trying to see if we got transferred to a different airline, would we make it? But there's no secondary flight to get onto when you're the last flight of the day. Like, there were some flights out of Calgary that were a little bit later, but we wouldn't have made those either. And the one lady saying, oh, one time this happened to me and they made me stay overnight in the airport. They didn't even give me a hotel. And I'm like, what? And then someone else said, oh, that happened to me. They gave us a hotel, but they wouldn't give us our luggage. So we just had to use what was on us. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm starting to freak out because earlier I had a clean pair of panties and socks in my purse just to keep it separate from the rest of my luggage. And then I ended up just putting it in my luggage. And I'm like, oh, why didn't I keep that? I did have deodorant, which I like to bring on long days. I always have deodorant in my purse. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, well, at least I got deodorant. I don't know. It was just like kind of a funny situation. It's one of those things where like something goes wrong, but it's not like, you know, it's inconsequential. And so it's kind of fun. I like those moments of chaos where it's like, ooh, what are we going to do now? <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. I like minor inconveniences like that and just see how things go down. I don't know. It's probably dumb. It's like, okay, your flight was delayed. Big deal. <laughs> it was like a mini adventure, okay? Oh, the flight leaving Vancouver and going to Regina, a cat got loose. It got out of its carrier and was like running around. So that was funny. <laughs> While we were flying. <laughs> Although I couldn't really see anything inside the window seat. Why, baby, why? 
But yeah, sure enough, when we landed in Calgary, they were like, yeah, here's your hotel voucher, here's some meal vouchers. And so it was like almost midnight at that point. By the time we got to our hotel room, it was midnight. It was just the hotel in the airport, so it's not like we had to go far, but it was late. And so then our next flight was leaving at 8 a.m. And so we had to be up at 5.30 to be gone by 6.30. And so didn't get a whole lot of sleep, but I could not fall asleep either. And so I got four hours of sleep, if that which is why yesterday's stream was cut a little short. I was just like, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. I was literally in Calgary that morning. Came home, packaged 40 orders, dropped them off, and did a live stream. I'm like, what? This is all the same day. But what was funny is, you know, we made our little alliance. And so our first flight from Regina to Calgary, we were all in adjacent rows. Like, either across the aisle or right behind each other. It was really funny. I was like, oh, the Alliance stuck together. And then the next morning, our flight from Calgary to Vancouver, the Alliance was together yet again, all in adjacent seats. I just found it hilarious. And man, those food vouchers, we each got a $30 food voucher. So we went to Tim Hortons to get some breakfast food and we just, we got a bunch of extra stuff and still did not even use up one single voucher. So yeah, that was good. We were all set. And the hotel room was really nice. So yeah, I don't know. It was overall not so bad. <laughs> I mean, Christian um, did end up calling out of work for the next day, but I made it back in time to do my stuff that I wanted to do. And yeah, <laughs> that was our little adventure. Oh, wait. I have to show you guys the creepy crawl space. I do have a video from the wedding. So the wedding took place at the curling rink, which all pretty much all weddings take place there. All Gravelberg weddings. The other side is the, like the hockey and skating rink. And then one side's curling. And there's a second floor above the curling rink with more seats to watch curling and whatnot. But that area was not being used for the wedding, so all the lights were off. But the door was unlocked because, you know, I had to poo. And I didn't want to poo and stink up the main bathroom. So I was like, Let's see if upstairs is unlocked. And sure enough, it was. But it's pitch black. Until you go far enough forward, you can see some light coming in from the area down below. Because there are windows. But there's this ominous red exit sign. It's so creepy. And I can't see where I'm walking. And it was just weird. But anyway, that was my little go-to place for pooping. <laughs> But there was this cupboard door in there. And I'm like, hmm, what's this? So I open it up. And it's like a crawl space. Well, you don't even have to crawl. It's like a stand space. <laughs> There's like pipes and things in there. But again, super creepy. It's all dark up there. I'm the only one there. And so, yeah. And then on, I the first time I went up there, I got busted on the way out. I was filming the crawl space. And these two ladies walk in. And I'm like, whoop. <laughs> busted like two other people at the wedding people i didn't know so that was awkward but i went back up there again to poop again later <laughs> and next color we're going with k Boop. a lighter green now oh yeah i don't feel like i have that much else to say though although this video doesn't need to be crazy long i mean it's gonna take me a long time to edit i'll tell you that <laughs> The more I film, the more I'm like, Bailey, stop. <laughs> you have other stuff to do tomorrow other than editing. This is going to take me at least half the day. I skipped posting the last time I went to visit family a month ago, so I didn't want to skip posting this time. It's kind of giving me older vlog vibes where I'd only have like a day or two to film for a whole vlog. Giving me some of that nostalgia. I also decided I wanted to play this horror game, and I decided this a couple weeks ago. It's called it Dead of Night, and I'll be starting it on Friday. So the day this video goes up, in case you want to watch me stream that game. But then I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm opening up the store, so I'm going to be doing packaging streams because I'm going to have so many orders. I'll, just, I'll have to do some of it on stream and just cancel some of the game streams and instead do packaging streams, which are also really fun. But I'm like, wait, I was going to start that new game. <laughs> so, uh, hopefully it works out. I'll definitely be doing packaging on Tuesday. But maybe Friday is when I'll continue it, like the following Friday. I have no idea. It really depends how many orders I get into. I don't know how chaotic this is going to be. 
but I suspect it'll definitely be more chaotic than the last update without the sketchbooks. <laughs> but I'll make it work. We'll squeeze it all in there somehow. And I do got to give myself breaks from it, you know, especially since a lot of times I package till late at night every night. And so it's like, okay, you can have your game stream day still, Bailey. I don't feel guilty about it, but I just do feel guilty. What am I doing here? I okay. messed that up. And I looked at the duration of that game online. It says five to 15 hours, depending on your skill level and whatnot. So assuming it took me 10 hours to finish, that's, I can do that within two streams. Even 15, I could do that within two if I play it the whole stream. So we'll see. I just want to do something spooky for Halloween. It's a spooky game. Anyway, I think I'll kick this back into time lapse and finish up this section. Okay, almost done this little section. <laughs> Just have number nine left. <laughs> I like how these leaves are actually quite defined in the pixel version of the artwork because I was worried there'd be too much detail and they wouldn't look very leafy, but they do. Yay, okay. So look at that, oh my God. <gasps> It's so glisteny. Oh my god. Okay, we gotta roll these. Not much snapping going on, but I guess that means I put them down well. <laughs> this doesn't really roll as much as it just slides across. <laughs> but like, look how well defined this leaf is. And look how shiny. The fact that there's going to be so much of this number two color, the shiny one, it's going to look so good. Like the other ones glisten too, but these ones are just shwing. <laughs> They're a bit of a pain to put down because they stick to the applicator a lot. Although I kind of want to try using my kneaded eraser in here. People say to use blue thumbtack and it like is an alternative to this wax. I don't have that, but I've got a kneaded eraser, which I think is pretty close. So maybe I'll test it out for the next section I do. 
at least for the the really sparkly ones because they just pull the wax like right out of here and it just sticks to here like the wax will stick to the top that's why i rub it like this after i'm trying to get any excess wax off one teeny tiny section that's and this is probably all i'll have time for today to be honest because i gotta start cooking supper soon and i still gotta um, order like reorder prints and stuff i've currently got a split screen thing going on with reference but this is progress so far on the raccoon which was not on the original list of animals but i just wanted to do one i just thought of it and i was like well i need to draw a raccoon some of the final editing i'm going to do in photoshop like arranging ornaments on the wreath so right now the wreath is just plain but i've got stuff doodled for it but uh let's see let's bring up the wreath and the wreath bottom which goes in front of the animal so you've seen the mouse you've seen little mousey let's see if we can prop this up to get rid of some glare maybe yeah you've seen that one then i drew a fawn i might need to tweak levels for things in photoshop after because like i don't know if my box is too dark or not looks okay on my camera screen <laughs> but they all got some kind of christmas accessory on them that's got the bell color everything has that fur texture too <laughs> it's mr fox then there's a bunny which i'm probably going to scale up but i don't he doesn't really fit the wreath as well because there's probably to be a gap at the bottom of some kind i also want to work on the light string a bit more in photoshop and use the dodge tool for the inner area instead of just a light color because i think that'll look better than what i've got done but everything's on a separate layer this thing has so many layers because each animal's grouped and then there's a whole bunch within there so when I do take it over to Photoshop, I'll have the option to tweak things easily. So yeah, the plan is to do six. So we've got mouse, fawn, fox, bunny, and then working on the raccoon. And these are for flat Christmas tree ornaments. So some will be just like acrylic charms, but with a ribbon at the top. And then I'm thinking of maybe doing some as wooden, wooden charms. I don't know. Same thing with a ribbon at the top, not the usual keychain attachment. I think they both could look really cute. I'll work on that some more tonight because I really would like all of this done by next week so I can make that order. I'll also have to do the mock-up though sometime next week, but I'll be packaging. Oh, it's going to be nuts. The next few weeks are going to be nuts. <laughs> but yeah, back to the diamond painting. Look at how big this is compared to the section I did. <laughs> Little corner. <laughs> but man, that's looking good. It's now 7 p.m. Prints are ordered. I was referencing these because these are the three I reordered. The other two I don't think I need to reorder. Or there's there are three other ones. But I redid the Photoshop files for these because when I originally submitted them, they did not have a white border to them. And I got the printer to do the border for me. But I realized for some of them, like this one, technically the sides are cropped off the image because this is a very short and squat picture at least compared to a five by seven piece of paper i just have it sort of thrown in here as a comparison because this is a five by seven file but i change it to be like this so just kind of overlaying them they don't perfectly line up or anything because the original is shorter but just to see the movement of the flowers they're a little bit further apart top to bottom because i had to paste in a new background and everything and then paste in the flowers and shift them so I just didn't want too much space at the top and bottom of the prints. Why so I space them out just a little differently. And the other should be pretty similar, except this one, they had it kind of like zoomed in a little bit more. So the top and bottom of the print were a little more cropped than they will be this time. And this one will look almost identical. I just said so the borders aren't completely even now because on the sides, it'll be a little bit smaller. But again, it was just ever so slightly cropped. So it had even borders. But um, it was just slightly, slightly cropping here. So I just tweaked it because I just don't want it cropped. <laughs> so I just submitted them with the borders this time. Yeah. And I said I didn't need any physical proofs this time. So hopefully I'll get those quickly because I'm opening the shop on Monday. When I picked that date, I forgot to factor in the prints. So <laughs> I mean, last time they shipped, it took like a day for them to be delivered. But there's also the printing time you have to take into account. And I do have to sign these all. And I totally forgot about the signature thing but it'll, it's fine it'll work out today's Wednesday so hopefully I have them by Monday but if I didn't then 
they'd probably arrive Tuesday or Wednesday. Like the orders that have those prints, like, like if I run out, the orders that have those prints could be pushed back a bit, but I doubt I would even get through my existing stock within the first couple days of packaging anyway. So yeah, it, it should be fine. <laughs> Cause these haven't fully run out. I have whoa, more downstairs. But some of them are getting kind of low. Like this only has 65 left. So I have to get some more. And hopefully I ordered enough. I had some original numbers and then bumped them up a bit. Don't know what to expect, but luckily it's easy to reorder. It's a place in BC, so it gets to me fairly quickly. I order from Art Inc. Print, if anyone's wondering. It's a place, it's on Vancouver Island. I think in Victoria, so yeah. But yeah, it's now seven. I'm gonna start cooking supper. <laughs> Bit of a late supper, but we had a late lunch, so it works out. Goodness, do I see a cutie geek? Oh my. And the moosh, and the moosh. And here's supper. We have chicken thighs with a bunch of spices on them and some veg and then rice that has a bit of cheese and butter and salt in it. I'll probably still add some soy sauce to that, but there it is. I just realized I put one in the wrong spot. It's the next morning now and I was looking at this. <laughs> there was uh, this, this one right here was a dark green. So there's just this floating light green one. And I was like, wait a minute. So I peeled it up and sure enough, it was supposed to be the letter K. So. I fixed that. This is the one that was in the wrong spot. Yeet. Anyway, I need to edit this vlog. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.